so I chose to do my book fair presentation on a picture book called Sugar Cookies, Sweet Little Lessons on Love. Um, and the overall message of this text is to show that there are a lot of different ways to express love to or for someone. Um, and it puts a variety of words and their definitions as well as examples um, just to show that acts of love are not always, you know, something so easily thought of and easy to name, especially for young children. Um, and by using cookies as the example of doing that um, makes it a little bit easier for kids to understand, um, especially because the pictures are really large scale. Obviously, they take up most of the page and a lot of them feature at least one animal. Um, okay, we've got a bunny, a cat, and a dog, a couple of goats. Um, so just things that are that kids are usually really receptive to or have an interest in are, you know, really made a point in this book. A lot of parents make an appearance as well. Um, and so it just, they do a really good job making the images visually cap captivating and demonstrating the image, the message that's on each page. And um, I feel like that's really important because a lot of the vocab in here is kind of advanced for the reading level of the audience. Um, like there are words like requited, unrequited, endearment, and compassionate which are not typically in the vocabulary of children who are still in the picture book reading stage. Um, so this makes it a really great way for kids to learn new language and learn how to appropriately use the terms. Um, let me see here. Like on this page here, we've got two friends. Uh, on this one, it says unrequited means he sure loves her cookies, but I don't think she feels the same way about his cookies. Or maybe she just hasn't noticed them yet. And then if you flip over to the next page, it says requited means, look, they both love each other's cookies. Um, we have what connected means, heartbroken, my heart feels sad and hurt, like a crumbling cookie. Because um, bigger feelings like that sometimes are really difficult for kids to kind of put a name to and understand what that actually feels like. Um, so having examples here that at least partially outline what those feelings might look like or how to use those terms is really important and I think it does, this book does a really great job of showing those. You know, Earlier in the book it says, supportive means that when your cookies are a huge hit at the bake sale, no one is happier for you than I am. Tenderness means, see how we're lifting these fresh cookies from the tray with care and gentleness. That's the same way we treat a mother's heart. Um, so it's using cookies as the main point here, but it's also instilling life lessons on, you know, this is how we treated the cookie, but this is also how we're going to treat each other because that's the right way or the best way to do that. Um, and because the images are so large and colorful and they take up a lot of page, they do a really great job actually showing, like, giving a physical example to the written text up here, which I think is something that kids tend to be really receptive to on a whole, um, rather than just trying to picture things in their mind, they can actually see, you know, more or less what that one's supposed to look like. This one, I think, is especially important. Um, constructive means that if the cookie tastes funny, I'm going to be honest and tell you. I think you messed up the salt and the sugar, sweetie. Um, being constructive is something that I think a lot of kids struggle with, um, and they assume that if, you know, you don't like something or if they did something wrong, that automatically means it's terrible and they don't necessarily see that coming from a place of love. Um, and then it ends with a sugar cookie recipe that you can bake together with either your kiddo or your loved one. So I think that's a really great way to kind of wrap up the book and tie it all together to kind of give it a project after reading so much about cookies.